was nice to get a win. Um, it's, yeah, obviously it, it was cool to finally get into the rhythm of like rugby that we know that we knew that we could play all year. It kind of, I don't know, it kind of felt like a few things clicked, a few cogs started turning the right way. So um, yeah, the first, the first half, you know, we had a lot of momentum um, and I guess for the first time we were able to retain our ball for like, a, you know, we were able to string some phases together and I feel like we're a bit, pa a little bit more patient. Is there a girl's great stuff? Secure the kick off? Kick it hard and we'll defend get our line up, yeah? We defended well, um, which helped and I mean the last, the last play of the game, you know, you could see that we were, we were patient. You know, once, once they did score and it was kind of level, it didn't feel like there was, it, it felt like there was a little bit more belief. Like it didn't feel like we're all like oh, kicking stones behind the post. We we're kind of like, everyone kind of, people had their heads up and we we're looking around and we knew what went wrong and we knew what we had to do to fix it. So there was a bit of clarity there. It's kind of frustrating that um, it's all started to click, you know, the last, second last game of the season. But I mean, the feel, the, the goalposts for us this year have, have shifted as to what winning looks like and what winning feels like and what a successful season is for us. So I think um, just to have a successful last two games is to start to play the rugby that we know that we can play. You shouldn't be scared to fail as a leader. Um, and that's how it makes you a better leader, actually. Um, and yeah, I think getting that win against the Rebels on the weekend, a um, you know, sense of relief for the team as well. You know, they've they've worked really hard, and these girls, I think, they're really amazing. Um, we've gone through a lot of challenges, you know, this year, having lost a lot of key players, um, but also gained a lot of new talent as well, and with the young ones coming through as well. Um, I think it's, I guess for us, it's a year of growth and rebuilding our team again. You know, these girls in the leadership group and you know, someone like Lori, she's helped a lot in that area. She's very passionate and you know, she's someone um, I respect a lot. You know, she leads um, with her actions and she's someone who always has your back. And I know she's very honest. Um, she definitely likes to challenge people. <laughs> she always speaks her mind and she's a workhorse. Um, and that's why I think, you know, she's someone that I, that I have like look, looked up to over the years. If I think of a leader, I, I kind of have a lot of respect for that person. So that's really nice to hear that my teammates kind of um, look up to me and respect me in that way. Um, I think a leader, like I, I, I just think like a, from, in my opinion, like I, when I first started here, you know, we had like Cheyenne Campbell and like Kirby Sefo and and you know girls like that, um, and I really enjoyed playing with them because um, you know they were cool, calm, collected, but they'd chip you if they need if you needed to. So they had like this standard, and I think they drove a that was a firm but fair standard. I I think I lead by example, and I think. My, the legacy that I want to leave, like I just want people to know that I tried really hard or that I just, um, like I think effort is something that I can control. And even in my like day-to-day -day life, like being a, a concrete or a floor or whatever I'm doing, like I, I can control how much I try. So every day I get to practice putting in effort. A big part of being a leader is not always having to control it all. And sometimes you just leave a bit of space, leave a bit of free air time and then, you know, you know, I allow people to step up and allow people to say the things that you're hoping that someone will say or that you kind of want to say. G'day, I'm Matt Kimball. I'm the Vice President of People for Rio Tinto's Iron Ore Business. One of the most important things similar to rugby is your pathways. So the talent pathways we have within Rio Tinto, very similar story to, to rugby. We've got to create the right pathways for success to, uh, to get women through our organisation and into the leadership roles. And we're starting to think creatively about that. So in the past, we've hired people for mining abilities. We're now also looking at hiring people for leadership capabilities and we'll teach you mining. And we're having some great success with it where we're hiring um, 
women who have maybe come from being in the taxi driver industry for 21 plus years and all of a sudden driving one of our huge dozers around the Pilbara. Uh, we've hired from the Navy uh, a, a female who had been working in submarines. So really thinking creatively about the value of great leadership in our organisation and then we can teach her mining. So fantastic to put on the TV, to see the Queensland Red Super W team out there. And why that's important is you can't be what you can't see. And similarly within Rio Tinto, we've had a really strong focus on having female leaders in the organisation and showing those pathways um, for, uh, for young women that are joining Rio Tinto. I don't think there's anything more powerful in Australia than sport. It's totally enshrined in our culture and it's who we sort of look up to as who our, our, our heroes are. So I think for me, for Rio Tinto, there's probably three things. One, it's a great way to show how we can break down what have been traditional barriers. Secondly, it's a great way to show what's possible. And uh, one of the most proud thing I've done is coaching my daughter's footy team and the power to see when a professional player comes down, how much that inspires them uh, is truly, is truly energising. Yeah, Rio is like a great rugby club that we value high performance, we value teamwork and it's a really collaborative environment uh, where you can have an incredible international career. Um, yeah, it's so important you know, for young girls um, and women to, to understand that there are amazing opportunities um, for women to play rugby, um, you know, which have never been previously existed. Um, you know, and Rio Tinto's partnership with QIU, um, an investment into the production um, you know, of this documentary, um, you know, a design to shine you know, the light, a light on those opportunities. Um, you know, it's a big part of why our partnership with Rio Tinto is so successful and um, you know, integral of, you know, to the growth of women's rugby here in Queensland.